Hey guys, welcome back to the sawmill. So today I've got a species of wood that uh, I searched the internet and searched YouTube and I have not found anybody cutting this wood. Now I don't know why that is. Maybe because um, it's not commercially a viable wood. Uh, it's not good for woodworking. I don't know. Um, it's um, maybe it doesn't get big enough to make it uh, commercially viable. I don't, I don't know. Um, but um, I managed to get this piece of wood and I've got another piece about the same size and there's a backstory behind this wood and so forth. But I'm going to cut this wood open today and we're going to see what's inside. I'm going to make a cut across the top and then I've got my bump mode set for two inches. And we're going to go down and just cut some two inch slabs. And there might be some cracks and checking in the wood because it's been, I've had this for a long time. Just hadn't had the ability to cut it up. And um, the uh, we'll see uh, if it's usable for something. Uh, I can, um, if I want to build something out of it, I can always uh, um, use epoxy to fill in the cracks and the checks and so forth. And I've got a bandsaw so I can, if I cut two inch slabs, they're workable. I can always cut them into thinner strips if I, if I need to. I know it's a small piece and I had to put some backing up here to support it on here because it didn't reach across the bunks. But um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's cut it open and take a look inside and see what it is. And if you have a, an idea of what species it might be, um, leave a, uh, uh, some, leave a note in the comments and uh, let me know what your guess is. But uh, at the end of the video, I'll reveal what kind of wood it is. And as far as I can tell, this kind of wood has never been cut on uh, YouTube before. So let's cut it open and see what it looks like.
So I got the uh, seven pieces out of this and um, you can take a look at the grain. It, probably if it weren't for the spalting, it wouldn't be that impressive, um, but I'm sure I can use it for something and it does have some interest to it. Um, it is a very hard wood. So uh, did you guys guess what it is? So this is a, um, an orange tree, not Osage orange, just an orange tree, a citrus orange tree. And uh, the story behind this is a friend of mine um, bought a hundred year old home and the, the tree was in the front and unfortunately the tree had to come out and he knew that I was into woodworking and we didn't know if orange was worth anything or could you could do anything with it. But anyway, he cut a nice long um, section out of it, um, the trunk, and it's about twice as long as the piece that I had. And I had it, I didn't have a proper place to store it. And um, I'll be honest, I didn't know what I was doing either, you know, but it was so heavy I couldn't move it. So I ended up cutting it in half and I had hoped to cut it on a bandsaw, but it was just way too big and heavy. And so now that I have a sawmill, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up and take a look and see what we got. Um, I don't think it's too bad. The, um, it can be used for something, I'm sure. You know, the, uh, the dust was very fine from it. The sawdust was very fine and this, the wood seems to be very hard. Um, but like I said, the spalting makes it kind of nice. And I think we could use it for something, you know, something small. Um, like a jewelry chest or something like that. But um, anyway, so um, it's something different, you know. I've never seen anybody cut an orange tree before, and um, I don't know how old the tree was, maybe 50 years, 100 years. Um, difficult to count the rings because it, it's uh, such a dense wood, but as big as this trunk was, it had to be very old. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe if you would, please. Thanks.